What's up, guys? So on October 29th, 2024, I attended a Trump rally in Allentown, PA. I wanted to go because I hear so much rhetoric, negative rhetoric, about Trump being a racist, Trump being a bigot. The people at his rallies are Nazis. The people at his rally are evil. They're rude. They're disrespectful. And as someone who doesn't take things at face value and likes to dig a little deeper, when he was coming to Allentown, I saw it as the perfect opportunity to sort of just see for myself what all the noise was about, to see if it actually worked out that way, or to see if, you know, the media might have gotten things a little wrong. So what I did before was I actually interviewed a bunch of people that were waiting in line to enter the event on um, their thoughts on Trump, their thoughts on Kamala, and also why they think Trump will be better for the country. And I actually posted that video before this one, so you can go check it out if you want to. But once I got into the rally, it was, much better than I expected. And I didn't really have low expectations based off of what I've heard from the media. But yeah, it was much better than I expected. Everyone was nice. Everyone was polite. Everyone was respectful. I remember there even being a moment where my phone was dying and I wanted to make sure that it could stay charged for the interviews and the videos I was taking. And personally, as a black man, sometimes when you're in an area filled with people that aren't necessarily looking like you, and that's the majority of people, you can feel threatened just based off of what you're always told. But I, so I remember the situation where my phone died and I wanted to ask one of the ladies for a portable, for to use a portable charger. And I was innately nervous just because of, you know, how I grow up, my experience around certain white people. And she was super nice, super accommodating. She let me use the port, she let me use her charger for the rest of the event. I was able to get my phone charged. And we also exchanged names after the event. Her and her family were super nice. Everyone there, super respectful. Like, I really wanna make this video just solely, like it's gonna be super quick, but I just wanted to make this video just to tell people that the real people in the real world are not evil, they're not Nazis, they're not super disrespectful, they're not idiots. These are people with full-time jobs, families, they pay taxes, they pay bills, they impact their communities. And to just sort of generalize everybody that supports Trump as an idiot, as some person who hates America, as a cultist, it's actually insane. So I felt it was my responsibility to come on here, put this video on this platform, hopefully it reaches people, and just tell them that, look, not every Trump supporter is a bad person. I met a ton of good Trump supporters, but I'm not gonna speak for all Trump supporters that some of them might not be bad because some of them probably are bad. The same way that some people in the Democratic Party are bad, some people in the Green Party are bad, some people in the Liberal Party are bad, some people in the Workers for America Party are bad. Like, there are bad people everywhere, but that doesn't allow the media specifically to generalize that population as evil, as inherently racist, as bigots, as upcoming Nazis, like I think that's insane. And after speaking with these people, hearing their stories, hearing their reasons why they're voting for Trump, hearing their reasons why they're not voting for Kamala, hearing their reasons why they love America and why they wanna protect it, all I can say is I'm more of a fan of Trump than I was before going into the rally. And I'm also more of a fan of Trump supporters than I was before going into the rally. And I never really had anything against either of those things, but just from actually having a real conversation with people, which is like a lost art nowadays, nowadays I was able to see, okay, these are real people with real stories and real concerns, real insights, real opinions, and this is what we should really be basing our election off of. Not off of headlines or this statement or this person's weird or this person said that. He say, she say is not what the American people need right now. We need someone who can handle the country, handle foreign affairs, handle the economy, handle immigration, and handle making America the fortified country that it's always been. Because right now we're slipping and across the world it's seen. My parents are immigrants, Nigerian. I'm 100% Nigerian. I was born in Chicago though. And with that, I'm able to have conversations at different levels with people who are first generation Americans, people who are second and third generation Americans. And from that, you can hear the conversations of how America is viewed as a country. And I strongly believe that's in part due to the last four years that we've experienced as a country. Long story short, I just wanted to get on here and make this video to say that Trump supporters are not all evil. Trump is not evil. He had a great speech and he actually got me rallied up at the end. I was just there to view and be an observer. 
by the end of it, I was screaming, make America great again because of what was said and also the authenticity and what came out of his mouth and the authenticity of the supporters that were there at the rally. Continue to do your own research, continue to make up your own opinions and continue to ignore mass media until they get their game right. Because right now they're all over the place. Independent journalists and your own research will always be better. All right, that's all I have to say. Tomorrow is election day, so make sure you do get out and vote, regardless of who you're going to vote for. Get out and vote because we already know this parcel is going to be manipulated. So the more votes that are there, the harder it is to manipulate. All right, y'all. Much love. Peace.